Welcome back to another round with scale control beyond the play. Um, that's not keepable. Let's take a mulligan here. This seems fine. A bit sad, but I think we need to ship the Vizara here because it's the most expensive card. And we can tutor for her later. Mm, yeah, let's see what we are playing against with the Duress. Sly. That's a tough matchup. But uh, could be interesting. We are going to take the most efficient card here. So it's a Lightning Bolt. And we have the Diabolic Addict for the Ball Lightning. So our game will resolve around finding and playing a corrupt and for this scenario we just need our opponent not to have a spheric vortex otherwise we won't get life But St. Maya is gone, this is gone. Turn 3 and we are uh, still at 20, which is nice. Mutilate is not something we want to have. And I just hope that he does not find a Sulfuric Vortex. Because then we need to tutor up the disc for that. And he can... Lava Man's okay. So I think we can't add Edict here. Because uh, then we take 6 next turn. But this will shoot us 2 to 4 damage. A Duress, that's okay. Um, yeah, let's play Duress here. Shock is okay. Fire Blast, okay. So in this case, the Bearing Ring, uh, it's okay. In this case, I would like him to sacrifice the Green Lava Mancer, because with one mana, it will take two turns until he can play it. So he has a Ball Lightning and the Barbarian Ring left. Curse Core is very strong. He needs a third land for that. And if he has a third land, he will firstly play. Okay, that's nice. So we are going to tutor here, but I'm not exactly sure what are we going to find. Uh, let's take a second to think about that. So the Neverest disc could be a play to get rid of that. But I don't think if we spend two turns and five mana to get rid of the curse scroll we will get the game we could search for the corrupt in that case we will need another land to shoot five to six damage but this won't probably not be enough So if he draws a land there, he's going to... Problem is, if we find Corrupt, we are just hoping to draw a land. And this might close us the game. Another play would be to get the Mind Sludge. For example, if he draws another 3-dop, we will make him discard his hand, but then we are just... Hoping to draw more. That's tough. Let's take the Corrupt. 
that reads the best and maybe the life we get we are not probably not uh, that next turn so we might miss one land drop here and even after sideboarding the matchup won't get better but this for example is a matchup where we can do something due to the duress and removal and uh, i do not feel this hopeless like i felt against land destruction earlier So, Ball Lightning with a card in his hand, we know. Yeah, okay, we'll take six here. And then two each turn, meaning we are going to five. We have three turns left. Maybe less if he draws Fire Blast. Okay, that's nice. And we are going to play Corrupt right away. Because I don't want to run into Sulfuric Vortex. Would be cool. Another ball lightning. Okay, that's a nuts. Zara is a two turn clock, but I don't think it will be enough. We are at three here. Corrupt would be nice. Mutilate. <laughs> That's not the thing I want to do. Let me attack here. And maybe we are dead due to a light ball, uh, ball lightning, number three. Yeah, incinerate. Here we will. But it was a close one. Let, let us draw some cards. Uh, and... Yeah, nothing here. Very close. So, for, for the fact that we had two dead cards with a mutilate and he draw runner runner, we really had something going. So I'm not completely disappointed. Um, we need the furnace. It's not super good, but it's okay against his Barbarian Rings and against the Grim Lava Mensas. Plus, we have the ability to cycle that to find our Corrupts. Innocent Blood should be fine. I'm not sold on Haunting Echoes, but uh, Mutilate has to go. Uh, same for the Arena. It's way too slow and it's doing damage to us. Skeletal Scrying is bad. Mm. Spinning Darkness should be fine. So let's sort here. Hypnox, it's... I don't know. Let's cut Hypnox. Let's think about the Haunting Echoes number two. Which should be... It's kind of a number with a Ferrex in Furnace, but... Maybe I want another Nether Spirit. Yeah, I think Haunting Echoes is a trap, or? But Neville's Disc seems bad too. I don't know. Let's do it like this. Massicore might be playable, but then I would like to get rid of one. Of the avatar fall. And now we are doing our best. But in game one, you see why I added the Visara to the deck. Because sometimes it, you 
probably will never cast the Avatar of Woe for um, two mana. So Vizara is a bit quicker. Um, that's not keepable. That's okay. I think we get rid of the tutor here because we have two black cards. Yeah, let's get rid of the tutor. And let's see what he has. Okay, Vortex, Lightning Bolt, Incinerate, Fire Blast, or Lightning. It's okay because we have Spinning Darkness and Smother. And we are going to take the Vortex here because it will make the most damage over time. And we won't uh, get life anymore. And maybe this three life points will be enough to turn the tables. So, Barbarian Ring, Mock Fanatic is fine. I need another cheap black card. Smother is very cool. This this is not enough yet to get three life from spinning darkness, and he even can place another um, another sulfuric vortex. So get rid of that, and we need a target for that. Because we need the third black card, we need to smother something again. Duress, that's very nice. Probably one of the best draws I could have there. Because it's my third card for Spinning Darkness. I can get something like... So Fire Blast, Fire Blast, Incinerate, Lightning Bolt. Fire Blast is 4 damage. Let's get the Fire Blast. Uh, so he has to incinerate the Lightning Bolt and the uh, Ball Lightning. I would love him to draw a third mana source and to lure him into the Ball Lightning play. But we need so much to draw. We do not have mana here. We do not have any card advantage. And he just needs to draw any card. Yeah, that's nice. And we are shooting the Spinning Darkness here right off. Of course, I don't want him to have Sulfuric Vortex next turn. Edict, okay. Not the right thing here. We had 19. He has... Yeah, that's strong. <laughs> this month uh, the deck does not provide, sadly. It's the uh, third game now. We were incredibly unlucky mulligans and just drawing the wrong cards but uh, I think it's a price if you pay a, a player tier 3 deck so the biggest problem with the mono black deck is that you can't get rid of problematic enchantments and artifacts um, efficiently once they hit the battlefield. You have just a Neville's disc. And he's just eating us. We can do nothing about it. Corrupt, okay, without mana. Otherwise, it would be fine. 
So possible draw could be Kara Coffers, and then we could get four life with a corrupt. Or two swarms from top. First one is here. We are going to seven, which is dangerous. Yeah, I just hope he that he plays a creature. That we can play some of these. Yeah, crazy that he did not play the Jekyll Pup last turn. Don't know why exactly. Hmm. I don't understand that. Yes, and we are dying like this. Go to five, go to three, go to one. Yeah, if someone has an explanation why he does not place a jackal pup. Maybe to not have him running into spinning darknets, which I can't pay. And it's turn nine, so it's not even the unfair part we see here from slide. It's just a tier three deck can't really compete with some of the tier one decks. So he has two jackal pups. I I don't understand that. So we need swamp here, or we are dead. Or okay, cable covers. Swamp is okay. Problem now is that he can easily draw ball lightning. I don't know, maybe you have some ideas to tweak the mono black control deck against decks like. So he has two damage here, innocent blood. So I think we need to get Bizarra down. We go to five. Mm. Wooded foothills. We have a little window. But I think we need to corrupt or something like spinning darkness. Spinning Darkness, which win us immediately the game, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, we are dead. Problem is that he pings here for one, again for two, again for two, and we are done. Yeah, Corrupt would have won us the game here. Can we do something? Let's see what we would have drawn. Yeah, maybe you have ideas to tweak the deck. Yeah, nothing here. 